Okay. Well, so I'm, I wrote my paper on the Iditarod Trail in Alaska and how in many ways I do think it's been an extremely successful example of conservation. Uh, so, so I was going to talk very briefly about the history of the trail, which many of you are probably familiar with, and then I'll say why I do think it is so important to this field. Uh, so what we now call the Iditarod Trail was actually originally a supply route during the gold rush, and it brought food and mail and mining supplies to mining camps across the Alaskan interior. And in 1925, there was an outbreak of diphtheria in Nome, uh, which at the time was a very isolated coastal community. And the closest, an the closest serum was in Anchorage. So in order to transport it during the winter, um, there, there was a dog sled relay that was organized. And it ended up transporting the serum in record time. Uh, and this made the trail famous. And this is also the historical significance behind it. So, in 1977, a team in the Bureau of Outdoor Recreation proposed that the trail be protected as a National Historic Trail. Uh, and they did this by organizing collaborative agreements between different landowners uh, that prevented expansion onto the areas to be protected. And they also specified that the trail could be used for recreation as long as it didn't hurt the environment. And this is the provision that's really uh, contributed greatly to the success of the trail because it does allow for all sorts of activities and encourages them. And the most famous of these, of course, is the Iditarod dog sled race, which is going on right now. But there's also a snowmobile race called the Iron Dog. Uh, there's several other dog sled races. There's an ultra marathon. So it's really in use year round. And even though communities along the trail have had to limit development uh, because of their proximity, they've actually benefited overall because of the money that the trail brings to the region. So What's really important, more than this, is that in the past 30 years, uh, in addition to protecting wilderness and to bringing in money, the protection of the Iditarod Trail has become a huge part of Alaska's cultural identity. And it's also captured the public imagination. And people are enchanted by this. And we have proof in the huge number of private and corporate donations that come in every year. So in terms of the benefits that the trail has provided, the most obvious impact on the region are, of course, the environmental protection and the economic benefits. But I think that the greater significance lies in the way that the trail has introduced people across the country uh, and around the world to the environment. And we can see this through news coverage and also through something called Iditarod Insider in the Schools, which is a nationwide environmental education program. It allows students to follow a certain measure during the race uh, and along uh, during this process, they're being exposed to geography and history and lessons in ecology. And I, I think that when people, and especially kids, are exposed to this sort of thing, it helps to create a culture that does value wilderness and that takes pride in protecting wild spaces. Uh, so to summarize, I think that the Iditarod has helped people understand that by conserving land, they're not giving something up, uh, but rather they're protecting something that was theirs all along. And this is significant, or I do think it's significant that today some of the biggest proponents of this trail are Republicans, uh, including Governor Sarah Palin, which is unusual because the Republican Party doesn't usually support increasing public land and limiting growth. So to me, the lesson in this example is that conservation can and should be an important part of the public value system. And it does depend on the way the issue is framed. So in this case, in addition to being lucrative, which is one of the reasons that Republicans have been so supportive, uh, clearly is very important in the field of conservation. Because it is so difficult to finance these projects, I think the real beauty here and the success of this trail is the way it's promoted an appreciation of wilderness uh, in Alaska and in the country, really worldwide. And I think that is an impact that can last for a very long time. Thank you. Boy, that was outstanding, uh, really remarkable for a college sophomore. And I want to say that uh, I'm looking at the list of people who, who have stayed online, and almost everybody is still online. So uh, <laughs> they, they got the benefit of your, uh, of your insight. Uh, I am uh, really looking forward to hearing uh, what happens to you this summer. And well, for thank you very much. You're very welcome. So for a second time, uh, I'm going to sign off from this broadcast, and uh, I look forward to seeing 
all the students we had on today in the near future and to talking with you uh, in the audience online uh, in the next several months. So good afternoon. Good afternoon.